if you lived near a swine spray field, not even the CAFO, but the waste disposal field, you were three times more likely to have a MRSA infection. You can't see how it impacts the average person's life in Duplin County, North Carolina, and not be a little upset about it. From an environmental standpoint, from a community standpoint, from all other aspects, North Carolina, we're in, a, we're in a state of emergency. We've already had bouts of swine flu, or H1N1 as they prefer to refer to it. That particular swine flu incident was uh, originated on a farm here in North Carolina. There's approximately the same number of hogs in North Carolina as there are people. Between eight to ten times the amount of feces is produced by a hog, an adult hog, as compared to an adult human. 10 million pigs in North Carolina produce the waste equal to 100 million humans. This is the equivalent of the entire U.S. eastern seaboard flushing their toilets in North Carolina. But there is no waste treatment. The pig's waste falls through slats in the floors of the sheds they are forced to live in. It is then pumped into giant waste pits, which leach into rivers and streams, and is pumped out unfiltered onto fields, further polluting the environment and neighboring health. When you go back and you look at where these hog facilities are located, there's a disproportionate number of them that are located near communities of color, low-income communities. It is definitely a human rights issue. My sister, she have asthma, and you know, her brother, he have asthma. He's three, and we don't know what she might have. I have asthma, I have sinus, I have sarcoidosis, that's a bacteria, and I have a pacemaker, which is sick sinus syndrome. But you know, mostly everybody in this area, neighborhood got asthma or either cancer. My neighbor there died from cancer probably just last year. My nephew down the street, he's got cancer. He's in terminal cancer, stage four. Not a smoker, not a drinker. And it's not in his lungs. It's in his lymph nodes. I see if you live here and saw the way they do, you wouldn't eat no pork. Well, I don't eat bacon because I know where it comes from. When they die, they go into a box and they decompose because they swell from stretch from heat. A truck come and pick them up, take them to the processing plant in Rose Hill, round them up into feet, and feed it back to the hogs. If I come out this door, if he's spraying there, it's gonna come in my face. It hits you right in the face. You smell like something that you have never smelled before. It smells worse than a dead body. It's the family graveyard. I have my grandmother out there, my sisters, my brothers. When we go to the funeral, he used to spray. During the funeral? During the funeral, yes. During the funeral. Yeah, he spray. And when the people come, everybody be closing their nose up, saying how it stinks. They can want to have a cookout on Sunday, he spray. Do you think he does it on purpose? I think so. Because he just sprays Sunday. He always sprays Sunday. And in most of these area, hog houses and turkey house, is in the black area or the Hispanic area. It's either or. Do you think it's also a civil rights issue? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There have been times in the past that I have gotten ready on the Sunday, uh, to gotten ready to go to church and come out and the smell was so strong that I had to go back and regroup because it got in my clothes and I just couldn't go to church smelling like hogs, you know, I just couldn't do it. So I don't think the, the government cares. They care more about cooperation than do people, individuals. And they're gonna keep on, they're gonna put more chickens in this state. This is the feast season you're in capital of the world right here in North Carolina. My state, look, there's a blue line stream right here come into my property almost, and the Contentney Creek right here. I've seen that blue line stream now filled with feces and urine from that hog pen and they can say, well, we feed the world. They're not interested in feeding the world. They're interested in making money. You take the money away from them, they'll let the folks starve. Because if you want to feed the world, you can feed the world with more corn, using corn and wheat and stuff like that, and you can meat. Meat is a luxury item. When we are doing things that hurt other people, we're wrong. But a lot of good people will sit there and eat bacon knowing that it's causing someone else to be very unhappy. I woke up the next morning to find the Burden River had experienced another massive fish kill from the pollution running off hog farms. Tens of thousands of fish were washing up on shore. 
All this talk about health, I realized that I was only focused on personal health. But health started to mean so much more to me. It was about health of my family and our communities. I couldn't under good conscience support an industry that I knew was harming others. Pollution from animal agriculture isn't just an issue in North Carolina though. Raising animals for food produces more greenhouse gases than the entire transportation sector. It is a leading cause of rainforest destruction, species extinction, 